in today's video i'm going to be doing a review on the manolo blanik hangisis if you are interested in purchasing this shoe then hopefully this video will help you out i used to love filming review videos and just talking about my favorite luxury items this channel was initially an offshoot of my personal style blog which i started when i was 14 years old so when people come here and they just see me talking about like expensive things they think i'm just sitting here trying to brag whereas it's honestly just another outlet which i'm using as a platform to voice my opinions because personally i'm not much of a writer i don't I love to write but I love to ramble a lot too and writing is more of my sister's thing so she's kind of taking over the written side of the blog whereas I'm going to be doing well continue to do more videos though she will be in more videos hopefully soon. So today we're going to be discussing the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi. These are my first pair which I purchased for myself for my 23rd birthday. If you haven't yet watched my 23rd birthday video where I did a haul of all the things I got for myself. There is a link in the description box down below. But I purchased these in London at Harrods about a month ago and I was in love when I saw them. I'd been thinking about a pair of Manolos for a very long time, particularly after I watched his documentary on Netflix. I was just intrigued by the Manolo Blahnik story and personally I feel like a lot of people want Manolos after watching Sex and the City. That iconic moment where Carrie Bradshaw gets proposed to in her blue Manolo Blahniks but after watching his documentary I was intrigued I was like I have to get a pair of Manolos because these are such an interesting pair of shoes with so much history behind them and this amazing creative director so I really wanted to get my hands on a pair of Manolos and I felt it would not be justifiable to get my first pair as a plain black pair because Manolo Blahnik is such an eccentric person I was like no it has to be a bold color i have to do something bold so that's why i decided to get the yellow i had an option of several different colors because manolo blanik have a variety of amazing colors it's honestly like a decadent rainbow of colors i was so spoilt for choice i honestly did not know initially i was leading to a hot pink and then obviously the cobalt blue and then emerald green but my heart just fluttered when I saw the yellow. I thought this was such a great pair of shoes, particularly because they look great with khaki jeans. They look great with blue jeans and they also look great with black and gray jeans, which is important to me. I need a shoe that's versatile and blends well into my wardrobe because I don't want to have an expensive pair of shoes like this just sitting on my shelf which is what has happened to a majority of my shoes that is basically why i purchased my first pair of manolos i was just obsessed with manolo blanik and i was like i have to purchase my first pair of manolos and i wanted my first pair to be the hangisis because they are a classic pair i also love how elegant they look and they only really came to my attention when my sister was looking for a graduation shoe and she wasn't too sure what she wanted to wear. She was looking at Manolo's and she was initially looking at the mules and the Nadira designs, which basically have like, a not a strap, but like the crystals just coming up across the foot. As much as I really love those, I felt like there wasn't enough toe cleavage and I do love a bit of toe cleavage. So when I tried on the Hangisis, I was honestly, I was sold. The Nadira's are nice, but they were not flattering on my foot. So I personally felt. So that's why I didn't purchase those and I decided to go for the Hangisis. In contrast to the actual brand itself, the packaging of Manolo Blanix is very simple. As you guys can see, it's honestly just a plain white box with black writing. You'll get the detailing on the side of the shoe type and the price and everything. And inside you get two grey dust bags, which I have left back in London, as well as some tissue and sticks for your shoes. <laughs> it's a very thrilling experience opening the shoe box and finding a bright pair of shoes. So I really like that contrast, which is something I just felt like saying. <laughs> when it comes to quality and texture, Manolo Blahnik does a variation of different textures and designs on the Hangisi particularly. Obviously there are different styles of shoes, a majority of which look almost similar to this. They just have different designs on the front, but this particular style is called the Hangisi. 
So I decided I would go for the classic silk pair. These are 100% silk with 100% leather lining on the inner sole as well as the outer sole. As you guys can see, I have worn them and I wanted to make sure I'd worn them enough to do a review on them, which is why the review is a bit delayed. These are stunning. I know they come in like tweed and linen and like velvet. The velvet pair are to die for. They had I was actually torn between the velvet. They had a burgundy, like ox blood velvet, and then it was this pair. I was like, honestly, I think those are gonna be my next pair. If not the heels, then the flats for sure, because those are stunning. And I'm just a sucker for a dark red. As you guys know, the only color I keep on my nails is red. I'm just infatuated with the color red. I think that's kind of grown from my obsession with Louboutin, so. When I picked these up, I was really happy, but I'm still obviously thinking about those red velvet pairs, which I will link down below if I can find. I know they also come in a dark blue. Another thing about the colors, I went into the store expecting to have a choice of every single color available, but the colors are seasonal, even though they do have the classic black, gray, green, um, and cobalt blue all year round. So I believe that was what I was told by the shop assistant at Harrods. These are not available all year round and like they, they do have a bunch of other colors which are not available all year round such as like the hot pink and I think the reds and it's strange because I expected the hangeeses to literally be available in every color all year round because they're a classic pair of shoes but apparently not. So you have to be weary and bear that in mind when you are going to purchase your Manolos. You can check on the website to see what the latest colors are, but the yellow, oh, just it's like sunshine. It's like walking on sunshine, <laughs> which leads me to my next point, comfort. Initially, breaking these in was not fun at all. Not at all. But I have a few techniques I like to use when it comes to breaking in shoes. I'll go into more detail about how I like to break into my shoes in another video because I feel like that deserves a dedicated video. These hangeeses have become extremely comfortable. They are probably one of the most comfortable high heels I own. They are in fact 105 millimeters, so are a tiny bit higher than my classic lubes. The angle your foot is placed at when you walk in these is very comfortable. You don't feel like you're walking in a very high pair of heels, so I, would give the comfort, honestly, out of 10, about a seven, seven slash eight. Obviously, they can't be a 10 out of 10 because they are, at the end of the day, a stiletto. They are probably the most comfortable pair of heels I own and probably the best choice, one of the best choices for a pair of graduation shoes. A lot of people ask me what I feel would be the best graduation shoes and I do really like these. I think they would do you well. Along with Gianvito Rossi's and Aqua Zuros, which are my absolute favorite go-to comfort heels. They are so comfortable. Once you break into these, they are great. Also sizing is, it's strange. When I walked into Manolo Blahnik, I expected to purchase the 36, which is what I feel like I actually am. Although my trainers are 35 and a half. I tried on the 36 and they were slightly loose. So I decided to opt for the 35 and a half, which is one of the smaller sizes. I think they go down quite small. So if you have a small foot, you should probably check out these. And these retail for about 775 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, depending on the type of fabric and style you choose. This particular pair is 775 pounds and the flats retail for about 715 pounds. That is the Hangisi 105. I am in love with them. I just, they're just so stunning. I definitely want to collect more of these and have a rainbow room full of Hangisis and just Manolos in general. I think these are going to become my next obsession. My next purchase was obviously the Hangisi flats. I realized after I was wearing the heels so often, I really wanted to get my hands on the flats. Also, my sister has a pair of flats, pretty much the exact same one, except she's got a silver emblem thing on hers, and I went for the gunmetal, which is what was available at the time. Again, this is a different style, but there are different variations of this um, Manolo Blahnik classic thing. I don't know what it's called. If you follow me on Instagram, we posted this image, and we realized they were different, <laughs> but 
This is the more recent style and hers is a slightly older style. So I purchased these after falling in love with the heels and realizing I wanted a pair of classic flats which I could use for daily use that were not Chanel espadrilles or Chanel ballet flats or my Gucci loafers. I wanted something classic which is elegant and pulls together my outfits because often I can be found in trainers, an oversized jumper and jeans. And I'm getting kind of sick of wearing trainers every day. I wanted something elegant. These are honestly stunning and they just pull together an outfit so nicely. I literally can wear jeans and an oversized jumper or a t-shirt and put these on and feel good to go. I walk into a meeting in these. As long as I've got a good pair of shoes on, I feel very confident and very happy. But when I put trainers on, it's a completely different feeling. Like I feel very grungy. So as I mentioned, these are the Hang Yeezy 10. So they are the flattest available Hang Yeezys. And I do believe the Hang Yeezys come in 10 millimeters, 50 millimeters. It's either 70 or 90 unless they have both. I know they've recently introduced the 100. I'm not sure if it's recent, but I just recently noticed that. They have 100, and they also have 105. So I've gone for the shortest as well as the highest because that was my preference. <laughs> that's literally my two moods. Either I'm super cash or I'm super extra. So that's why I feel like these shoes really represent who I am as a person. Super casual, but pulled together <laughs> and um, minimal. And then super bold and extra and in your face but pull together at the same time always pull together i'm just falling in love with them the more i talk about them i'm trying to i'm like literally convincing myself to buy more of these whilst i talk these were not comfortable initially i went home with blisters all over my feet in fact i actually vlogged the first few wears and i'm crying in the videos <laughs> i'm honestly crying i was very uncomfortable but saying that i actually purchased the flat in size 36 and the heels in 35 and a half because the shop assistant said when you walk in flats you have a different kind of rhythm in comparison to when you walk in heels your foot tends to slip out more in flats so it's probably best to get a larger size so you have more room for like movement and it's just more comfortable so that is why I purchased 36 and I'm glad I did. I don't feel like they need any insoles or anything and it's a really comfortable fit. I haven't yet managed to break into these properly because I'm still finding it very uncomfortable to walk in these for more than an hour. Although my sister has the exact same pair, she has assured me that these do become very comfortable after a few more wears. So I'm just gonna have to ice my feet, grip my teeth and bear it or just walk around my house in socks and these shoes and try and bear the pain for as long as possible so these open up a little bit more and I'm more comfortable wearing these out of my house. So the reason I purchased these in a blush pink as opposed to a bright colour was because I religiously wear my Chanel ballet flats and I wanted something that was similar to those that would kind of emulate that style without being exactly the same but I decided the blush pink was a classic really cute colour which I could wear throughout the year. I think that this is the colour that I could wear in spring summer as well as winter although i doubt i'm going to be wearing these in london in winter i don't actually think these are coming back with me because unfortunately they will get absolutely trashed in the snow and the rain i believe it is actually snowing out there now i'm really missing the snow <laughs> they're stunning they are durable they are elegant and just they're so nice there's so many good things i can say about them i don't actually have a bad thing to say about these shoes in fact both of them Apart from the fact that when you initially wear them, the first few wears are very, very uncomfortable. So if you are planning on wearing these for your wedding, engagement, anniversary, whatever function it is, make sure you wear them either as a dinner shoe initially or walk around your house and actually properly break into them before just putting on a new pair of shoes because I don't think that's the smartest thing to do and... You obviously don't want to be uncomfortable on either of those fancy occasions. My sister was very annoyed that I purchased the exact same pair, but I'm honestly very happy that I did because I've worn these so often throughout the time that I've owned them and I'm definitely reconsidering purchasing both shoes, in fact. I probably would not change the heel heights on either one of them. I would definitely get the 105 again and i definitely get the 10 again. I'm not much of a kitten heel person, so I definitely would not be getting kitten heels but high heels and flats for sure more so the flats rather than the heels because i'm leaning more towards comfort <laughs> and being in flats than heels nowadays so 
I'm definitely considering purchasing a bolder color, if not a pair of classic black flats. I know I'm always in black, but you can't go wrong with black Manolos. I feel like they look a lot nicer than the classic black Chanel ballet flats because they are so stunning and they've got this bold thing on the front, which just makes them less basic. I'm obsessed. I'm honestly obsessed. They go with everything. In fact, they even go with this color. I'm wearing khaki jeans and these look really cute. I, in fact, have been purchasing more pink and blush tones to match these shoes where I really don't actually have to. I feel like they just mesh so well. In fact, both these colors go well into my wardrobe. I'm not saying that other Manolo Blanc -like colors don't go well. I feel like when you wear a pair of Manolos, you are wearing them to make a statement. As I get older, the more I want to purchase classic, beautiful footwear that I will actually get full use out of as opposed to just keeping on my shelf and looking at and just reminiscing on <laughs> wearing because I have so many loose I just do not wear but I just don't have the heart to sell them because there are so many memories attached to these shoes and they just look like beautiful pieces of artwork on my shelf so I have no intention of selling them. <laughs> that is my review of the Manolo Blahnik Hangisis. I honestly hope it was helpful and informative. If you are looking to purchase a pair of Manolos, let me know in the comments below which pair you have got your eyes on because I love hearing about what other colors people want to purchase. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, guys, and subscribe for more videos. I will see you guys in my next video.